Hey everyone, I'm Andrew, and welcome to Tech Check. Today, I'll be unboxing something that literally just got dropped off at my front door. These are the Edifier R1010BT powered bookshelf speakers. These speakers are, have a built-in amplifier with 13 millimeter silk dome tweeters and a four inch full range bass unit. Also, these have dual RCA inputs and multi-point Bluetooth, which means you can connect multiple devices, Bluetooth devices at once and avoid the hassle of constantly pairing and unpairing your devices. Looking at the box here, you have quite faded image of the product, your Edifier logo in the top left corner, model in the bottom left, as well as multimedia speaker. And it's also showing you that you can either have your front grill on or off, depending on the type of look you like. Let's check out the side. So as you see here, you basically have the same information that you have on the other side, but it's showing you your SPL versus frequency, and I am not an audiophile, so I don't really understand what that means. But the main thing it's showing me is that you can get these in two different colors. You can get them in the brown or the black. This one here is in the black because I figured that would go better with my whole desk setup. And I really like the black and the yellow. Also, up here, if you can see these, it says that you have Bluetooth version 4.0, two dual, C dual RCA inputs, I should say. Here you have Class D digital amplifier, dynamic range control, 24 watts RMS, so that's 24 watts for your uh, speakers, and then 100 to 200 volt switching power supply built in. Looking at the back of the box, once again in the top left you have the uh, logo, followed by the model number and multimedia speaker again in multimedia languages. <laughs> I meant multiple different languages. Then you have features listed down here, as well as some specifications in, once again, multiple different languages. We're just going to go quickly through the English ones. This here is an active bookshelf speaker system with 24 watt RMS power output, has Bluetooth 4.0, like I said, pairs with two Bluetooth devices simultaneously, 100% MDF wooden enclosure, available in either brown or black, this one's black. 4 inch bass driver and 13 millimeter diaphragm tweeter driver, dual stereo line in ports, treble upgrade on port A. Then you have your specs down here, you can see them, I won't go through all those. And as I said, all your other languages, you have your notice for technical support, your contact, blah blah blah. Alright, so I guess we just gotta take a look at the top of the box and get it open. I just tilted the box on its side to give you a quick look at the top because the top tells you actually what you'll be getting inside the box. So here, underneath the Edifier logo, you have, once again in six different languages, your box contents. You get one active speaker, one passive speaker, two different 3.5mm connecting adapter cables, one speaker wire that's 25 meters, so that's approximately how far apart you can have these speakers and one user manual. Then, if you just look on the bottom here, you can see that you can get the brown or the black. I chose to get the black, as well as your Bluetooth and the information Bluetooth makes you put on your box if you wanna have Bluetooth on your products. And just some more of register icons or whatever they are, recyclable, stuff like that. Make sure it's a safe product. But that's about it, so let's cut this piece of tape and open it up. So I just grabbed some scissors and now I think we'll be ready to open it up. Let's start by cutting right down the center here. Oh, listen to that satisfying cut. And see if I can just pop these open now. Uh, one there, one there, all right. One more, one more. Okay, so we've got it open. As you can see in the top, get rid of these scissors. As you can see in the top, you got some hard white foam. Not the best foam, but at least it's in something. Let's just flip it right upside down and get everything out. All right. 
Oh, now we're moving the mat. But here we go. Oh, there goes some mats. We're losing everything. Rid of the box. And there is your set of edifier. Your upside down set of edifier powered speakers. Looks to be the one over here is actually your main unit with the power and all your other uh, inputs on it. So this must be the passive one. Let me just get rid of all this stuff and then we'll look at them. So I've gotten rid of all the packaging and this is what we're left with. A few things that fell out of the box when I was opening it up. You have the FCC statement, which, okay, thanks. I don't need it though. I know you have to include it. And you have a nice thick manual in multiple languages provided by Edifier, telling you how to hook it up, I'm assuming, and how to activate the Bluetooth. But I've already checked out some reviews on this, so I'm pretty sure I'm good and I know how to do that. But it's great they include that for if I get stuck, I can look at it. And last but not least, you have the Edifier speaker and headphone limited warranty, both in English and in French on the back here. Just letting you know that if anything, if they don't work out of the box or if anything's to happen to them, possibly by their error, you could be taken care of. You might get a new set. All right. But that's about it for the paperwork that came with it. Let's take a look at the speakers themselves. The reason I have them sitting like this is because this speaker here is just a passive speaker. So all it has on the back is just a port and some terminals. But this, being the main speaker, has a lot more. So let's go over it. Here, at the top, as I said, you have a nice port. Then you have your whole little control panel here. With your logo, model number, what it is. Right underneath that, you have a base control that starts at negative six, all the way up to positive six. That stops in the middle with a little click right here. So you know exactly when you're set back to zero. Sorry about that, hit the camera. Next to that, you have the volume input, which from watching some reviews and everything, I've noticed a lot of people just leave this at max and control their volume with whatever device they have hooked up to it. So when I test it, we'll try both ways. Then just beside those, you have your line A and line B inputs, stereo RCA inputs which makes this dual RCA input, as well as what I forgot on this one, is a Bluetooth input. And how you access that is by clicking this button here. If you can hear that little, little just hear that little click lets you know that it's been activated, as well as the light on the front will switch from green to blue when you're in Bluetooth pairing mode. That's what that button does. So you can pair your devices and listen to your music or whatever through these speakers. Now, as I said, you got the dual RCA inputs, which is great. The left one, line A, having a treble boost, I'm, I believe. I think that's what I read on the box. And then, right underneath, you have the on-off power switch, which is a very, very clicky and not hard to press, but it's not easily going to get shut off. So you don't have to worry about that with this switch. Beside that, you have your 100 to 240 volt power because it's got a switching power supply inside it. And then right underneath, you have your speaker terminals for your speaker wire here. Talking about the speaker wire, this is one of three little accessories that came in the box. It's not the thickest speaker wire in the world, but we're not running much power through it, so it'll be fine for this use case. Then you have a little 3.5 female to dual RCA stereo. That's a nice little addition. And then right here, you have a 3.5 male with nice little edifier logo right there to dual stereo RCA input. So it's great that they added these because I actually thought I would have to pick up some on my own. But when I noticed they're in the box, it's, it's just another purchase I don't have to make. Thank Edif thanks edifier. Now one last thing I want to show you is these front grills here. I know these look great like this. Nice little edifier logo on the front. But to me, they look even better when you can remove that front and Edifier makes that possible with just four little clips, one in each corner. It's just, well, not even clips, little plugs that you just push in or pull out depending on if you want this grill on or off. Myself, I bought these for the black and yellow look, so I will be keeping these off. 
but if you like them on and that's uh will match your area better you just push it back in and they're on so i just installed this pair of edifier powered bookshelf speakers on my desk here hooked up to my computer sitting underneath my 24 inch msi curved monitor to give you a bit of scale on how big they are and how much room they take up on the desk so as you can see on the right speaker here it has an indicator light currently it's green showing that it's in powered on and in line in mode however if you were to push the volume slash input switch in that light would change to blue like that indicating that it's now in bluetooth pairing mode however for this test that i'm going to be doing at the end of this video I'll need it to be in RCA line in mode, so let's just quickly switch it back. Quick switch of the button, and it's right back into RCA line in mode. I just quickly jumped into the YouTube audio library to play a quick track for you, just so you can get a little test, even though I know it won't be perfect coming through this video, of how these speakers actually sound. I'll give you a bit of a range too, so you can see, hear how they go up and down in volume. So here we go. Wow, they go up and down flawlessly, at least to my ears, they sound amazing, and at the price of $70 from Wal Canadian, from walmart.ca, that's actually $30 cheaper than Amazon, well now you know why I had to jump on these speakers, they look great, they sound great, at a great price, Edifier, if I had to choose again, I would definitely buy these speakers again. And if you'd like to buy these speakers, be sure to check the description below where I have links posted where you can do just that. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, and possibly subscribe. I'm Andrew, and this was Tech Check.